Did you know that you can dim past events in Google Calendar? Go ahead and go to the gear icon and go to your settings. And then on the first screen, scroll down to the view section. And in the view section, check the box that says reduce the brightness of past events. Then go back to your calendar and you'll see that events on dates that have already passed are now dimmed. Hi everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to show you my top five hidden features of Google Calendar. The first feature that I want to show you is how you can change the default reminder time in Google Calendar. This one has helped me a lot. So if we go up to the settings gear icon here in the top right and then click on settings, we need to actually access the settings for the particular calendar that we'd like to change the default notifications on. So go down here to settings for my calendars and click on the calendar with which you'd like to change the notifications for. From here we can scroll down a little bit. You'll notice that we have this area that says event notifications and all day notifications. So we could say that instead of a notification 30 minutes before an event by default, we could get a notification one day before the event. And then we could add more if we wanted to. And then we can also add default notifications for all day events. This is really helpful because I always used to change the notifications for every single event that I created. And then I realized that you can just change them here in the settings and then you don't have to do that anymore. So that is my hidden feature number one. The second hidden feature that I want to show you here in Google Calendar is how you can keep events private even if they're on a shared calendar. So I have this calendar right here, the Anson Alexander calendar. And just to show it to you, this calendar is shared. You can see there's another user right here. So if we go back, I have this doctor's appointment that I have on the calendar. And let's go ahead and click to open it up. And by default, whoever this calendar is shared with is going to be able to see the details of this event. So I'll just click on edit event. And then if we go over here to where you see this little suitcase icon, we can change the default visibility and we can set it to private. So you can see that Google tells us that this event's details can't be seen unless they have the make changes to events permission for the calendar. So we might need to change some permissions and make sure that the people who have access to this calendar only have view permissions, but at least you can keep those events private on a shared calendar. The third hidden feature that I want to show you is that you can set a custom calendar view here in Google Calendar. So by default, if we go up here to the top right, we can select this drop down and we can choose one of these views, the day view, week view, month, etc. However, we can create a custom view. So let's go ahead and click on the gear icon and then go into our settings again. From here, we're going to click on view options on the left side of the screen. And in this area, we can choose which day we want to start the week on. We do only have three options, but you can choose Saturday, Sunday, or Monday, and then you can choose your custom view. So notice we can do a really awesome, say two week view. I love that view. Uh, so you can see what's happening right in the near future, uh, but you don't have to get cluttered with everything else. And then you can go ahead and go back to your calendar and you can go up here to the drop down. You'll notice that we now have our two weeks view. So that's great. We can see these days. They're real big on our screen. So we know what's happening. The fourth hidden feature that I want to show you is advanced search here in Google Calendar. So we can search in Google Calendar by going up to the magnifying glass and you can search for the name of an event or some of the guests that are attending an event. But if you have a lot of events and you really need to narrow down your results to find the exact event you're looking for, you can click on this little arrow here to the right. And now you have a number of different options that you can use when searching. You can search specifically for what the event is, who the participant or the organizer is, where it's located. You can search by date. And this just really gives you a number of different options. Like I said, if you have to sift through a lot of events. So definitely make use of advanced calendar search. The fifth hidden feature that I want to show you is using keyboard shortcuts in Google Calendar. First of all, there's another cool shortcut where if you go to any tab in your browser, you can just type in cal.new, hit enter, and it will create a new Google Calendar event for you as long as you're logged into your Google account. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. But in terms of keyboard shortcuts, first of all, I think the big tip here is that when you're in Google Calendar, you can press the question mark. So shift and, you know, question mark on your keyboard and you get a list of keyboard shortcuts that you can use here in Google Calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shrink this keyboard shortcuts over to the bottom right. I'm going to close it here in Google Calendar and we're going to take a look at some of these keyboard shortcuts. So first of all, notice that right now we're in the two week view, but if we want to look at the next two weeks, we can just press K on the keyboard and we start advancing in time 
or we can press J to go back in time to just move to the previous or next period. If we've kind of gotten away from today's date, let's say we're, you know, in the future a little bit here, we can always press T to go back to today. If we press G on the keyboard, we get a pop up and we can enter a specific date to go to. You can create an event simply by pressing C on your keyboard. You're brought to a new event creation screen. You can delete an event simply by selecting it and then hitting delete. You'll notice that it asks me how I would like to delete this event, but I'm going to cancel that for now. You can search in Google Calendar. You don't have to go click on the magnifying glass. You can just press the forward slash and you'll be brought up to the Google Calendar search. And then instead of clicking on the gear icon to access your settings, when you're in Google Calendar, you can just press the S key and you're right in your Google Calendar settings. So I think these are the most useful keyboard shortcuts. You can see that there are a few more on the list that you can try out on your own. So these are my top five hidden features for Google Calendar. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you wanna see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for now. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.